Hey guys, how's it going? Indulger here with a new Fire Emblem Heroes video. This is Ether Raids Week 51, Day 4. Nothing to show new on defense. Is that right? Did we show Azura last time? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, so there's just this new one we'll watch right now. But that it didn't count because it was part of the cooldown. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So they they won. We got a Hector and a plus ten Ike and Lucina. Plus ten nonetheless. This person either got really happy before the banner that we just had, but or they just went all out on that latest weekly revival banner with Ike and Lucina, which makes a tear fall down my face because I didn't get anything. But we'll see how a plus 10 Ike handles my infantry pulse team. Spoiler alert, they win, but it's close. And here's the thing, they went with the Hector attack on turn two, which doesn't make much sense to me. Why would you do that? It seems like a mistake. Why wouldn't you do it turn one? This could just be, this person doesn't know how infantry pulse works. I, I wouldn't be surprised that like they didn't understand if you would have attacked me. That's one of the main benefits of Hector is to eliminate infantry pulse. If you're not aware of that, if you knock him anyone down on turn one, it won't trigger. So they let me have all my specials it's gonna bite them to the point where I do kill someone because I have, and it didn't really do anything. That Hector did nothing but really drop Micaiah down. Everybody got healed, so I don't get what they were doing there. We almost kill Ike, he's at 14. If Alm hasn't been in such crap attack because of that. I think Ninian's gonna go next because Alm can't get the kill. It's too bad, Alm. I mean, oh, that's what it was. One HP away. If I wouldn't have had a minus attack Alm, that, that Ike is dead. That Ike is dead. So my team's pretty good at killing Ikes if you set up like that. Again, that's a plus 10 Ike. So, you know, Micaiah's here. Micaiah can't beat Ike, but she can beat Lucina. And because they have, everyone here is, it's a bad team, like, because there's no one here to take a soak. I guess Lucina could, but she's dead now. <laughs> uh, and uh, they didn't get the ether, so. It's just a couple things I had issue with that. They could have done a lot better job with Hector. But anyway, they beat us. One loss. Hector. Ike combo. I just like to see what what would have happened if Hector would have gone. But anyway, no no more. No need to continue to lament that. Let's talk about some news. It's been a while since we've talked about some news because there is something that's affecting Ether Raids. Next update's coming. Let's take a look. So we're getting some new music, that's fine, but kind of a big deal what's happening. Yeah, we're getting Bolt Tower increased level five, but the defensive structure cap is being increased from five to six. I don't know why in the hell I just thought, hmm, you know what needs an upgrade? The defense. Uh, this is just gonna, just gonna make more viable those stupid, those stupid <laughs> defensive structure A skills which are very rarely seen, but can cause a lot of damage. I think Flora's got one. But, phew, guys, who wants this change? It's just gonna make things even more complicated, but it's fine. We'll have to adapt. And then we've got some uh, refines. Is Kana a Gen 2 unit? I did not expect her to get the change. I actually killed her a long time ago. Because she's just so awful. And now hopefully I won't regret it, but I got one copy of her, but I don't think her IVs are that great. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to say on the news front. Let's do some mock battles today. I promised a few folks. I gotta, I gotta have to remember who it was here. We fought Kurrigan yesterday, which I've now recently learned that Kurrigan's team is. Let's, yeah, let's find uh, somebody who's using the same team first. All right, I've been informed, guys, that Akaras fought someone that he didn't beat, and now everyone's just copying the defense. And this is basically the similar setup. Somebody in the corner with a rally, and I'm assuming guidance to do there, and then that's it. So this is PSA. This is the last time I'm showing this map. I don't, I'm not a fan of people just copying stuff. So if you're copying stuff, that's fine. You can do it. I'm just not going to show it. So, um, yeah. So we'll do this one. It's the same thing I did last time. So this is my suggestion if you're having trouble with something like this. Because it is a fairly strong sort of meta configuration, right? You got a rally trap, you got a lightning rod, you got infantry pulse. It's fine. Yes. So I'm just gonna do the same thing we did last time and beat up on an infantry pulse target and just sit right there. Same configuration. Yes, we're gonna lose a unit, but again, the alternative, it's better than the alternative. So in this case, this one, um, Cloud is using a Fire Sweep Soleil in place of, I think, like an Ike, or no, 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 the last one we fought was an Ike and an Alm combo, I believe, right? So, I think I'm just gonna do this. And have them come to me. I don't want that Soleil anyone anywhere near me, so she's just gonna rally in place. This might be too much, actually. I think I'm dead. Yep. So, <laughs> Mulligan, I can't go that far. Yeah, that, I think I would have beat that then, but it would have been severe damage. So, again, it's a nasty setup. I, I agree. It's not... It's no bueno in terms of fun for the offensive opponent. See if we can get back to where we were. So you don't want to go too deep. Again, I want to avoid that Soleil. So I can just sit here then. I just don't want air in the way. I think that should be fine. And now we can take them all out. We have three units remaining. Soleil's got to go. But I can't fight her right now because if I did, everyone would die. So we're just going to bait the Dancer. Which I think we should be able to bait the Dancer. You're not going to rally and then get rallied, are you? Maybe. So it's turn three. This isn't a Cancer Azura. So even if Soleil hit me once, it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to move over here. I need to get that fountain anyway. Take you out. 20 damage. I should be able to kill her now. And we can finish this up. All right, so thanks, Cloud. I mean, it's good. It's a good variation of what we fought, but like I said, I want to see original content, guys. <laughs> I don't want to see copies anymore. So, uh, yeah. All right, so we got Cloud done. Who else is on the list of things that wanted to be fought? I guess we already, yeah. Uh, we fought Jonah yesterday, we fought Kane. yes, we're gonna fight Mr. Iron Man here, 
and his uh, flyer team. So this is interesting. First glance, I would go, oh, yeah, I can get this. But here's the trick, right? So I think they're trying to stop someone like an Ike with this setup. So if I saw this, I'd hope I would recognize the fact that this is very dangerous and flyer formation, hardy bearing. So let me show you what happens if I just try to tank this. As I've said many times, one of Ike's primary weaknesses, kryptonite, is hardy bearing. So if I just tried to take it, we'll see what happens. I think I actually get one shot by this. Okay, it's not a one shot, but yeah, the follow up will get me. So that is the scary thing we need to stop. So let's talk about how you would stop something like that as a Nike. Well, in this case, they've got flyer formation, right? So they can move here or here. So this basically means that they're going to rally. So anything that in range would be a problem. So we have to get deep into their configuration. That really means there's only two safe spots. This trap spot and this trap. Both will work, but this is obviously the riskier play because we don't know if it's a trap or not. So what I'm going to do is try to come here, and what that does is it forces this rally to occur either here or here, and then they can't go. Because what's going to happen is that most likely somebody else will be dancing. That is what happens. So, yeah, let's check that out. What we need to do is what we can do. I would rather just get the ether right off the bat, and then we'll just wait a second. There's no real rush to go. Okay, and we'll get this ether. Gonna let this bolt tower be wasted, but it's okay. I actually could put Lucina there. I messed up, because if she was here... She could go there. Oh, I would actually, no, I know, this is what happens. This is the trap. So what happens is that Volter gets stuck. And everybody else gets stuck, see? So I could put Lucina there if I had her in play. I mean, I don't know that off, I wouldn't have known that off the bat, but I do now. Let's see if I can handle it by himself. If not, we'll redo this again. But you see, you got a rally. The Hardy Bearing user rallied in the corner. But if the Dancer has a unit that they can get to, they'll do it. Let me pause. I can't pause, can I? What I wanted to show is that even if this Dancer had a, a flyer formation, this Yoon wouldn't have been able to get me. And I just cleans up, hits everybody. We're in kind of bad shape because that Yoon's going to go now. So, yeah, in this case, somebody might die. It would have been nice to have someone closer. What can we do? We can kill... No, we can't kill a Raisin. But we can kill a Yoon. See if we can keep the Dancer alive. Should work. We beat up on Valter and you and you, and we've got an air there. Which air is better? Well, this one, I suppose. Uh, but you are going to transform, so it makes no difference. Thankfully, we've got. I think Ike hit you with attack smoke. So it really comes down to, can an air survive this attack from a dancer? Real close! <laughs> but it worked. So that was a really good attempt to stop Ike. And it would probably work in most cases. But that is the weakness, Mr. Five Iron. So thanks for that. That was fun. That was an interesting flyer ball. 
Uh, what else? I think Bugbert, like I said, is using the same setup. Similar setup. No, this is different. It's, it's another Fire Sweep Soleil. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to do something. No, this is this is different. So this isn't a copy. I wouldn't consider this a copy. This is, this is an Ellie Wood with a plus 10 Soleil. Oof, I hate Soleils with Fire Sweep and Guard. It's just gross. This one's using, it's another Infantry Pulse team. The Hardy Bearing, again, Ike's Kryptonite. I actually haven't practiced what, this one in a long time, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, Bugbert, I think you're going to beat me. Let's just try to use the same sort of strategy we talked about. I don't think I'd do well here. They, there are too many units that can kill me. This Ulm can kill me. This Soleil can kill me. I'm just going to concede and say, well, you got me. But they're doing a better job of that other setup of stopping infantry pulse. There really is only just one infantry pulse user here, and I guess we don't need to go crazy to stop it. But they've done a great job of protecting me from doing anything turn, anything turn one. I think I'm going to probably just eliminate the dancer with Rolf. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing, so if we lose, we lose, it's fine. I just know that if I saw this, I'd be scared. Because Poison Strike, Fire Sweep, two dancers, I gotta get rid of a dancer. Now what? It's a rally trap on this Soleil. But now there's only one dancer. Should we just go for it? Alm could hit us if we moved up. One, two, one, two, three. Would that happen? Probably not. It should be a rally. Soleil should rally. I think I want to just come down here. Force is just only one unit to hit us. I guess now it's going to be on Rolf, though. That's too bad. <laughs> that freaking Alm has got... It's a plus 10 Alm. That Alm, <laughs> that Alm has got a lot of defense, and I can't even... Pierce him. Wings of Mercy, okay. I think I've got to go for it. He's getting bonus double or two. Is that why? Ah, but my attack is down. I don't think I can beat up the Alm either. This is tricky, man. He's going to get HP back, too. I essentially need to be able to one-shot him on Retaliation. So I think I'm going to try to repo. Yeah, I can't do it. But we could finish him if we shoved over there. Do we rather do that or protect air? I am actually hitting you with tactics room. Yeah, 25 HP on that is 30 something. Oof. I think I gotta get rid of that, Ike. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, I think air might be in danger for that Murr now. Oh. Actually, that air is gonna die to Soleil. Or not. Ah, oh, that was close. 
Okay, well, I think I want to get rid of that myrrh. We got two ether to get though. Turn five. We don't know which one the trap is. I have to land on this now. No, I don't. Ah, let's do it. Turn six. I mean, thankfully, with a fire sweep, we can beat them pretty quickly. Uh, I guess we'll just test the trap. Actually, that would have been bad. That would have been real bad, because if that was a trap, I couldn't have gone out of the way. Ooh, wow, okay. All right, Bug, where I beat it? That was a good team. Plus 10 alms are scary. And uh, yeah, we had to sacrifice a unit there, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do when you see something like that? All right, we've got Cloud, we've got Bug Burke. There was one other person I wanted to talk about today. I think it was Tio. Jab, I think you're next, but Tio wanted to see something. We'll finish up. And we'll get to the real fight here in a second. All right, this is another one with our boy Alm and some infantry pulse action and a lunge. Oh well, a, I can click it. A lunge on Elliewood. One of the things I don't know about Tia was this Fjorm here. She, I guess she's trying to panic you. She ends up being the problem, if I remember. I. I Played around with this one. Yeah, okay. I can do this turn one with a good old smite. Get rid of that, just bypass that trap completely. And let's go. I was gonna say, if Yorm ends up being a problem here because he just sort of stalls Running Witchy one on me doesn't really do anything at this point. She had some way of dropping me. So that brings Alm here. But because that Alm didn't have a B skill, I, I never recommend having Alm not have um, his default, whatchamacallit, no follow-up. Is that what it is? Because of that, I could double him, and that's game over. But we've got two dancers, still pretty sketchy because we've got a scary Elliewood with lunge. So I think I gotta get out of here. Pretty sure I gotta leave. Because Elliewood would lunge me. Yeah, again, Fjorm just ends up ruining things because she's ruining all the dances. We can get rid of him now. That Ellie was the scariest thing on the map to me. And we can just waltz in there because, again, Fjorm is just going to keep... Keep attacking. So I like the team, I like the setup. I don't know if I like the, uh, like I said, the um, Alm with the Wings of Mercy B skill. Maybe it works for you. We could just start stepping up. Yes. 
don't know if I want to go up. Yeah, there we go. And that's my solution to Tio's new team. So I like it. Do a couple tweaks there. Like I, uh, I said, I don't know about that Fjorm. I mean, maybe maybe it's just Ike's doing a good job of stopping it. But she ends up being like a, uh, a bottleneck. So, okay. That's enough fights for today. If I haven't got you, I promise I will get you as soon as I can. But, uh, yeah. All right, uh, anything else? We covered news, we covered defensive reviews, we covered mock battles. Let's cover the offensive side of today's activities. We've got one team. Let's meet that team. Got a plus four Ike, my boy. Our heirs for scoring, our bonus unit, and then Ike's partner in crime, Lucina, with distant guard. Attack res link and drive res. I guess we technically don't need to double up today. Do I care though? <laughs> nah, I don't care. So I mean, if you wanted to be mathematically accurate, or optimal rather, you don't have to do that. You could just do a 50 today, but I'm actually tempted to just blow all ether. All right, we got a flyer ball. Let's see if there's anything scary. Versa, Versa's no slouch, she can hurt me. Camilla's not going to be a problem, but she is going to help her friends with her double... Oh, it's running Ward. Ward shouldn't concern me. Est is here. Not going to concern me. I'm not in armor. Ah, that is not good. So we just practiced this. <laughs> there is no rally trap, though. And there's only one dancer. So that shouldn't be too bad. How would... You get to us, okay? How would you get to us? Because that is gonna hurt. Uh, Lejarn, a red Lejarn with new. Let's see what we've got. We've got a ward, a ward, a ward, a ward, a ward. Award. They really like defense. Yeah, that, that Lejarn is going to have a lot of defense. That is the thing that scares me on this map. So how can we stop her? Let's see if we can pass the test. <laughs> like, we literally just went over this. So, when there's a hardy bearing unit, you want to make sure that they can't hit you. And she's got flyer formation, which means she can go anywhere. Which sort of means we got to get up in their face. Which sort of means it's these two spots. Which sort of means it's that spot, because that's a risky play. Hmm. Again, just one dancer. Kind of like going an Ike Lucina pair right there. Any ridiculous shenanigans where they could get to us? There's a rally up attack in the corner. You have flyer formation too, so you could come here to rally and she could dance, and then one, two. Yeah, we can't get Lucina. Nobody can get Lucina because it's not Cancer Azura. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty spooky. Alright. I think Rolf's going to get that one because he can meet up with us in a bit. Like I said, I think I want to start there. Yeah, it's too bad our bolt tower's not going to get any play here. I, I am concerned about this one. I am concerned because I just don't want Lejarn to escape. Okay, and if I went here, should be an Aversa to start, and then a Camilla. But yeah, I mean, we're not going to kill the Camilla probably with all that ward. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Is there, any, is there any trap here with this fountain? I don't 
think so. I don't think so. I probably should have figured out which air order I wanted. Okay, I think what I want to do is have Ike end here, move air right behind him, have Lucina break the tactics room, and then what we'll do is we'll swap with air. We'll here be... Oh, it's not gonna happen. That's a bad place, dude. It is. It's just not good because Hanoka can come here, get danced, one, two, dead air. So I really probably should have had. More fun. Different setup. I think I'm gonna need Smite. Okay. So, okay, we need to wait one more turn. What's next? Can do that. We're just going to keep Ike where he's at. Yes. We can move air there. Then we can smite Ike 2. Ike goes here. Lucina goes there. And then everybody should be out of the way. I don't want to hit Camilla, really. Do I want to break the Dark Shrine? I mean, that's a tempting thing to do. It's pretty tempting. It's, all for you. I th it's probably going to bite me if I break it, but like... Understood. I'm getting... I'm, am I not getting hit? Who's getting hit then? Who's getting hit by the Dark Shrine? Highest death res total. Why are you Ike not getting hit by it? 3742. Was it Rolf? 49. I don't know. I'm confused. I mean, Rolf must have been getting hit by it, I guess. If I break that open, what does that do? You can't jump. You can jump. Understood. Yeah, I'm gonna break it, I don't know. Now, what do we wanna do? Let's just do that, see what we got. It could be death here, <laughs> who knows. I don't think we're going to finish the Camilla, which is good, because we don't want uh, Lejarn in our face. Oh, we're going to get her, though, aren't we? Okay, it's just going to be one hit. It was too much. Damn it! Yeah, I mean, I, I knew that was going to be the problem, and it, it was just too much. Stupid Lejarn with her freaking bond and attack and got the new bonus and then a moon bow yeah that was good i was worried about it and it was enough what else could i have done to avoid lejarn on turn one i don't know if i could have done anything again i really wanted to keep camilla alive but she got danced and died hmm okay well this is a double up we're definitely surrendering but maybe let's give him a token effort. Because this is a ward team. Yes. There's candy, right? What's next? It's tough. This is pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, with a ward team, you don't really want to go up in their face. But we kind of had to because every spot that Lejarn was going nuts. Give me some SP at least. So good team, yeah, that was a good counter to me. Finally, we got an Ike counter. It's been a while. It's 
one ladder for the week. Let's try it again. Got a Kieran this time. I failed the test, guys. I mean, like I said, I saw the unit that was going to give us problems, and it didn't matter. Well done. This is another junkyard setup. What is this? What is this? This is weird. Okay. Again, I am never, ever been a fan from the start of the show, about week 20-ish or so. Don't ever do this. They've even split off their units in half. So I can literally just avoid all of these guys till half the battle is done. <laughs> Okay, considering I can bait all of these, I'm going to start here. I don't like being mean to people's, like, setups. I really don't. It's not... I, just don't do this, please. It makes me sad. Legitimately sad. Alright, uh, this could be the trap, so we probably want to see if we can have somebody else break this library. I break the library. Yeah, it would really be bad if I died here, too. So I can't do that. Can anybody break free? We've got... Nobody with Wings of Mercy. Oh, hold on. Is there, is like, a Guidance Trap? No, I thought maybe... Oh, there's an, there's an Aerobatics Trap. She can come over here. Okay, okay. Well, still, isn't Nino going to try to rally Effie? Hmm. Don't want to get too cute with myself here. But I think I can break that. Come here and test this with Ike. Yes. What if it's a 60? I'm pretty sure gravity traps are only two spaces, not three, so it wouldn't affect Lucina. And I could smite and get him out if I needed to. I think I just want to do that. Was the trap. No, uh, Azura can get here, maybe, but it's not going to be an issue, I don't think. I can freely break that as well. I suppose we should do it. And then... I don't know. Have Rolf hang out over here, because he's going to have to get the ether. The Reinhardt ends up being the thing I'm most concerned about because I don't know how I will get that without him dying. Maybe we should have went over there first. <laughs> Changed my mind. Well, I'm going to hedge and come here. No, I can't do that. I guess I could. I was say, I could come there because my tactics room is actually stopping that Olwen. So then I could repo across... No, it wouldn't work anyway. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just come here and hedge our bets. Maybe there's some weird big brain strategy I don't see here that's going to happen. No, just nobody wanted to die, I guess. Okay. Not quite what I wanted. So we know that's not the trap. Ether. Ward. We don't know about these traps yet. I've changed my mind. I think I wanted to go over to the left. May end up stalling me. The healing tower is going to get them some help. Yes. Suppose let's bring air up. I'm stuck by this tactics room. Let's get her out of that. Get rid of this Nino. Okay, 
we can do that. It's all for you. Let's bait the other two. Think I'll scare him? What's next? Death's caress. The glimmer of life. Oh, it's friggin' tactics room. I hate you. <laughs> you screw me over on everything. Uh, okay, well, sounds like it's going to have to be Reinhardt that lives, which is sucky. Okay. More fun. Let's turn four. There's candy, right? I've seen a strategy of how I can break that and not have Reinhardt hurt me. He's got Vantage. More fun. Let's just do that. Next time we can break this, we can break this with air, collect the ether with Rolf, and then... Ike can repo here. I think that should do it. It's a little more complicated than I thought. There was a stall there with the units, but you split your forces in two, I mean, it just, nothing's good going to come out of that, guys. I just don't, I don't, I don't ever, ever suggest you do what just happened there. Split your forces and have a junkyard in the front. Do you want to keep going? I don't want to keep going. I know it's 42 minutes, but for the first time in a while, I'm not actually running late for work. No, we'll end it there. I'm tempted to get to uh, top 50 because we can because we can, but it would require two more fights, and I'm not going to do that to you guys. We'll save it for tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll still be perfect and get on that leaderboard. So, thanks for watching. Again, I don't mean to criticize anybody. I hope it didn't, doesn't come off that way. I really, I try to make sure I never either hurt anyone's feelings or critique anything in a bad way. If I, if I ever do, man, just call me out. But, but, you know, again, the primary focus of this channel is to help you guys, give you some strategies, give you some hints and tips. So, to that end, I, I appreciate all the mock battle, everybody for letting me fight your mock battles, and should help you guys, and should help the community. I do always enjoy hearing everybody that said advice and strategy, strategies shown on this channel have helped them rise in the ranks from 20 to 21, or what have you, so, again, I appreciate that, that feedback, so let me know if I'm doing what you need me to do for you, so, like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Fire Emblem Heroes Ether Raids videos. Until we meet again, guys, have a great one. Hope you had a happy Halloween and a happier start of this November. Until we meet again, like I said, take care. Bye-bye.